Hey guys, RC here. Back with episode two, Club Three, Football Manager 19. We are now at Cerro Largo. Uh, we're just going to start off this episode with a quick little run through. So, uh, Uruguay, I did not know this, the official name of the country is the Oriental Republic of Uruguay. Was not aware, didn't realize they were in the Orient, but that's cool. Um, 3.47 million people. Um, we have about 8 million people in Houston, so, you know, we're a little over double the size. Um, but Montevideo, I've at least heard of that. I've heard of the capital. Uh, about 176,000 kilometers squared in size. They use the peso. And uh, let's see, Melo is the city that Cerro Largo is located in, the club. Uh, Cerro Largo is the, I guess, the... the county or the division the district uh, it's like a mid-size area but Melo's a mid-sized town about 51,000 people it's one of the largest places in Uruguay <laughs> just that's kind of mind-blowing uh, so it's in the Cerro Largo region and uh, it's the regional capital uh, it's about 210 miles or 338 kilometers from Montevideo to Melo, where we play, and we don't need a hotel there. Uh, so if we take a look, uh, here's the continent of South America, and of course we started off in Venezuela right up in this area, and then uh, we moved to Bolivia down here, I believe, and now we are down in Uruguay. So let's zoom in to Melo. And uh, let's see, Montevideo is down here on the coast. Buenos Aires right across the way in Argentina. And then, of course, uh, Brazil is up here right on the border there. Uh, this, is, this is part of Brazil, the southern part. So uh, we move in and we see Melo. There's the city limits. Uh, we have a historical district, uh, the Parque Rivera, the Bio Parque, the Hippodrome. Uh, a lot of lot of green space, so that's kind of cool. And uh, let's see, do they have anything about where we play some football at? Oh, I see some hotels. The Hippodrome, Moby Dick, Tabanera Moby Dick. It's a three-star restaurant. So we got food. We aren't going to starve. Just kind of looking around. Yeah, I'm not sure where the stadium is. I think that's on this map here. Uh, so, yeah, here's Street View. Um, okay. Free advertisement if you uh, spray paint it yourself. Plenty of uh, advertising space available. Uh, let's uh, let's head down the street, I suppose. All right. Uh, oh, there we go. We got some stands over there. That looks like maybe the. Uh, oh, it's a little covered area. Nice. All right. So we can kind of get a good picture there. They actually have seats in the at the end of the pitch, just in case it ever gets really full. Okay. Uh, we've got housing right next door. Let's see if we can go around. Can we go down that way? No. It's too small of a street. What's the deal? All right, well, let's go down and see if we can find a major intersection. Like here? There we are. Wow, all right. I wonder when the last time that car moved is. Trying to see if we can get around the warehouse district. Uh, that would be a negative. <laughs> negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Oh well. All right. Well, let's see what else we got out here. All right. Here's a pitch from it. Picture of the pitch from inside. That looks like that covered awning. I actually liked that one better because I couldn't see the rust. But that's okay. We've got a running track, so we can keep them fit before we play. There's that, there's that stand from inside. So we were over here, uh, and there's that housing area down here. So, okay, we've got some lights, it appears. 
Yes, we have lights. We can play night games with nobody in attendance. Looks like everybody sits under the covered part. I don't blame them for that. All right. Um, so it's possible that flooding could be a concern. Possibly. <laughs> Uh, there is grass. We don't play on dirt. That's awesome. Do like the kits. That looks like the team we just beat, right? Well, we hope that's us at the end of this season. Raising some silverware. Okay, there's that covered awning again. We need to put a fresh coat of white on there, guys. Some 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 fresh Blanco uh, paint. Painto de Blanco. I don't know. Blanco is white. I don't know if that's in Spanish, though. I think it is. I saw that in McFarland, USA. They called the coach Blanco. It was a racial thing, I think. But, you know, you can't be racist towards white people. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. That's just, yeah, it's interesting looking. At least it's, at least it's different. Come on. Yep, that's where everybody sits. Nobody sits outside of that. All right. Oh, that must be fan day when we had extra people. Oh, I get to stand in the shade. I hope my coach's box is right here. <laughs> um, there is a banner up, so I'm assuming that this is like celebratory smoke and not like Fans storming the field and trying to kill the referees and, you know, all that stuff we hear about. Okay. Yes. Lake Cerro Largo. Interesting. Hopefully we uh, don't have games called on account of flooding. The training pitch. <laughs> oh, God, help me. Oh, well. All right. Oh, and there's a, there's a nice shot if it'll come up. Hello. Hello. No, nothing. You are not cooperating. All right. Well, that's a nice shot there that did not come up. All right. Looks like we're dead. All right. So anyway, that's us. So let's uh, get to the match. So I'll see you guys back here for the match in a second. All right, so we've played a couple of matches. Not playing badly. We got a 1-0 win over uh, Villa Española. Uh, De Los Santos with the goal for us there. And then we had a 3-3 shootout. Uh, we had two, pl two players sent off in the last seven minutes. Didn't affect their goals. They already had them. And somehow we were able to get uh, the, the Marrera goal. You should have seen this. So it was a throw-in. Um, and he threw it in and Marrera got the ball pretty far outside and he basically kicked it. He crossed it. Uh, it wouldn't, no, I'm sorry. He got the ball played out on the left. He was coming up the flank. He crossed it. It was too close to the goal. The keeper had an easy save and he flubbed it and it went into the goal. Just completely whiffed on it. So we got lucky as hell. So anyway, we're, uh, you know, two wins and a draw. We're seven points. We're top of the table, automatic promotion right now. Uh, we are playing in the Copa Uruguaya, second round. I don't know if that has any money. I hope so, because we're broke. So let's get our team picked out here. And... Uh, He can tackle. Mm. He's got some pace. He can mark at least. Got a few of these guys that are a bunch of these guys that are loan listed. He can mark. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, put Medina into that last sub spot. Oh my goodness. So yeah, as I mentioned last episode, taking a sick day today and 
not feeling good at all but uh, that's all right we'll, we'll get over it and uh, I'm gonna try to take as much advantage of the time today as I can to work on all of next week's recordings because as I mentioned, I'm going to be out of town all next week with work, so I've got to get next week done this week. So uh, I'm finishing up this week this morning. So Saturday will be finished today this morning. And then uh, so I'm starting to work on next week today. So and hopefully by the end of the day, I have about half, at least half the week done. At least. No, that was not a good cross in. Counter, Villar coming out. Uh, the center, he just went around the center back. He's got runners. All right, the defense is kind of caught up. Oh, my God. Yep, 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 yep. Don't, don't want to rewatch that. All right, get creative. We are underdogs here. Oh. Oh, the back just did not get up high enough to put a head on that ball, and it dropped right over him. Perfect placement. I, you can't really be mad. I mean, look at that. A one-touch. Marrera just couldn't get up high enough. Uh, Marrera. Jumping reach is five, and he's only five foot eight. He is a left back, so to be fair, he shouldn't be in that position. Jeez. That was brutal. Oh my God. Hello. All right. Uh, they're eating us alive over there. Um, six foot. Okay. I'm going to drop you there. And then. Tackling. Marking. Guess we'll put Brazil in there for Marrera. Ugh. All right, I'm going to have to give some thought to that position because, yeah, he's, he's just getting taken advantage of. Nice, nice flick on header. And then they put it right back to him. Yeah, they're playing 42% down that flank. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Five, nine. I don't have anybody else now. Jesus. Um, I'm going to have you drop back to support. Oh, Romero just took it away from our guy. Nice advance pass up to Sosa. Good tackle by Brazil. Good job. All right, Martinez. Oh, that's a nice quick movement up the field. Oh, good ball. Good ball. Poor finish. Poor finish. Oh, headed down. Oh, man. 
that was a great a chance to, you know, with the header down right into a group of about two or three of our guys. Unfortunately, one of the defenders got to it. I'm seeing some positives here. You know, I was kind of wondering, you know, with the financial situation that they're in. But keeping in mind that they did just get relegated out of the, the top league, which is number seven in the country, which technically is twice as good as uh, Sucre, where we just left. So shouldn't shouldn't be a hundred percent surprised do see some solid play but we just got torched and it was the same guy over and over again oh my god yeah disappointing you watch your footing um assertive passionate calm where's You've got a yellow. Where is my yellow card uh, discussion? All right, well, I'm going to not do that. That's the first time I've never seen it there. Hmm. All right, Milan. Is that a trip? All right, sets up a direct free kick. Oh, no, it set up a corner. I thought we were going to have a kick from out here for a foul. Teixeira. Ah, we're just not getting it inside. They are getting clearances just about on every opportunity. All right, Sosa, nice control, good cross into space, uh, nice ball to the outside. Damn it! We're just we're just a step slower than them. It looks like, just all around. It would be nice to get a win and see if we get any money, but, eh. Oh, look at that. Whew. Wide. Got a little lucky there. A little lucky. Oh, there it is. They let it go through and Wombelts. Wombat. First goal of the season. I'm going to have to do it. Um... Wombat. Sorry. <laughs> I've called him Wombat twice now. Wombelts, Wombat. There we go. His first goal of the season. Nice. I don't change a lot of names, but I think that one just made sense. All right. Um... Suarez, mid-center. Let's put Medina in for him. Confirm. All right, Suarez gets there. Nice ball out to Milan. Oh, he got past the defender. Nice layoff. There's a, oh, just wide of the mark. So, man, if you guys are, are not, in, you know, if any of y'all are thinking about your future, <laughs> I tell you what, uh, you know, college isn't for everybody. If you don't want to do something that requires college. Uh, oh, there's a nice goal, Sebastian Sosa. We're back in at 3-2. Push forward. Good ball movement. Um, yeah, we're, we're starting to get some shots now. 17 shots to 10. Good, good. Uh, I just had uh, my heating element on my dryer went out. Uh, so I had a guy come out, look at it, change the element out. $249 for about 
about an hour of work. That's parts, labor. It's oh, heavy touch. Sosa pounces on it. All right, cross. Nobody was up there. Aguera was able to make the run. Corral that one. No, no. Sosa right there again. Oh, my. No. Oh, no. Villar, his fourth goal of the season. Man, the back line is just taking a beating today. They actually didn't play poorly on that, but... Four to two. Damn. Uh, disappointing. I agree. Trashera played a six for the full time. Uh, you... Tell him I'm a little chap. All right. Um, wasteful. Three to four weeks. Wombat scored. All right. We'll be back for uh, Torque here in just a minute. All right, so this is a home game. You can see we're selling 5,500, almost 5,600 tickets out of a 9,500 capacity. So we're doing all right. Uh, let's see. We're playing Torque. We're favorites. I have hired a general manager. I like a general manager to kind of help oversee things. Um, and then I usually let him hire my staff. So that puts my assistant coach back, assistant manager back to being uh, the ass man. And uh, so we've got him doing uh, doing this filter pick. Uh, so we're doing all right there. We look good. We look like we should be at least competitive. Morera is going to be on that back line. We'll have to keep an eye on him. He hasn't been a liability in league matches. But we certainly saw him get torched last outing. All right. So this all changed. So we're going to go there. Well, I was going to move it. Guess not. All right. Marrera up to Wombat. Wombat crosses to Prieto. Taken down. Milan brings it back to De Los Santos. Oh, and he kicks it right to Mullins. Might be a little extra noise. Uh, my daughter had a friend come over to, to see the baby today. and So they're in the dining room now, so I'm not sure if they're going to stay over there or not. Uh, if they don't, when they come back in here, I may end up having to pause the recording. Shot wide of the mark. Let's get creative. And let's... Spread you out just a little bit. To Shara. Into the box. Milan. Prieto lays it back. We start building the attack again. There's a cross in. Ah. Uh, there's. Oh no. Oh boy. Wow. Facundo Milan, first goal of the season. It was a little bit of pinball action in there, man. Tilt, tilt. Some of you guys are probably like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> oh, that bounced off. Good hustle up there by Wombat, just in case the keeper didn't make a play on the ball. Boy, it'd be nice to get get a quick ball back up and beat that keeper when he's out that far. But that's that's hard to do. Oh, there it is. Yes, Wombat. Get in there. Number two on the season. Facundo Milan. 
with the assist. 2-0. Again, I'd like the cup run, but... Oh, man, only three shots on target. Um, let's take a look here. Let's work the ball into the box. Yeah, see if we can cut down on the long shots and get a few more on target shots. All right, Suarez, Prieto. Oh, nice. Switched it over to the left peg. Teixeira slides it past the keeper. That was a good way to keep him on the right foot to keep him at that near post, and then he just popped it over and slid it past him just by a step. That was a nice move. Oh, an immediate kickoff highlight. Oh, there's the run. There's our short little left back. Headed out, flicked on. Shot from range. All right, third shot of the match. Two off target. They were all long shots. Come on, boys. All right, 18 to 3 at the half. We're playing well. All right, there they are. I don't know where that where it was last match on that other guy. He just did not give me the option. Uh, we are playing... I mean, Marrero's playing a 6'9 this, this half, so... Yeah, I think his height and that lack of jumping ability just got him exposed against superior clubs. I think that's all that was, you know. I should have made a more a bigger adjustment there. But back line's playing well. I want him to get match fitness, so we're going to let him keep going. Uh, to Shara, let's go ahead and move Fernandez in for you. Uh, Suarez for Vieira. We'll watch how these guys play. I'm still trying to get used to the club. Oh, nice little save by the keeper just to push it wide. That was close. Dangerous ball. We're going to praise them here. All right, we've got a slew of corners. Prieto, uh, nice tackle to just push it farther out. Get it further up the pitch. Let the defense have more room to operate in. Good job. Good job. Liking what we're seeing. Haven't had as many shots. Um, De La Santos for Brazil, I suppose. And then I want to, let's, let's try something else. Let's hit early crosses instead. Because I still, I, I like the shots, but we'll see. We just didn't have as many opportunities this half. Oh, he jumped before the ball got there. Uh, yeah, we're going to give him the concentrate because evidently they were not. Overwhelmed. Oh my God, we're overwhelmed. All right, so let's take a look at the final stats. So we were 19 to 3 at halftime. So they had 9. We had 8. But we had a lot more on target. Had a lot more on target. Really cut down on the long shots. So feeling good there. Feeling good, Lewis. 
All right, we go back top of the table. Milan with a goal and an assist. So you were superb in front of the goal. And, oh, he's looking at my keeper. Who's this, who's this Espinel guy? Head coach at Central Espanol. And they are in the Primera Division, which is the top league. That's with River Plate. That's where we should be, where we got relegated from. Uh, all right, so let's see. That's match time. So we are 10 points plus one on goal differential with racing. One point clear and four points clear. Well, six clear from being out of the playoffs. But, yeah, I think I want to finish top two. So, you know, they want us to win the league, but I definitely want to finish top two. Uh, we were knocked out, so they're a little unhappy. They wanted us to reach the third round. Fair enough. Um, let's come back. Uh, let's come back for, I guess, racing and uh, Maldonado. Racing because they're second in the table, and that could be a key matchup. So that'll give me a few more matches, and then we'll play another one. And then we'll see where we're at. And then I think we, we may try to blow through maybe just two more, one or two more episodes for the rest of the season uh, and see if we can get through this uh, a little quick and see what happens at that point. Like I said, this may end up just being a one season stay. Just depends on what happens. Uh, like I said, I'd love to win first and get silverware, get the automatic promotion, and then that should boost the prestige. And uh, then we'll go from there. But guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.